What is up everyone? Jedi here from Eternal Journey and we are doing an Eternal update. I'm going to let you know what's going on in the current events of Eternal. So today is January 10th and we're going to be discussing the new event, the Alliances, that's coming out this weekend so you'll be able to play it by the time you are listening to this. This is a weekend event that we're going to see. Bring a 75 card throne deck and be ready for a twist with this new boss rule. At the end of your turn, play the top card of your deck. If it shares a type with one of your units in play, otherwise discard it. Markets are closed. Here's what you need to know. Decks can use all cards in the throne format. At the end of your turn, play the top card of your deck if it shares a type with one of your units in play. Otherwise discard it. Markets are closed. Decks can include a market but will not be usable. The event costs 3,500 gold or 300 gems to enter. Each run is seven games, win or lose. So Swiss rounds, that's always nice. You get your money's worth there. First three runs count towards the leaderboard placement. You may enter as many times as you like. So obviously, once again, you can enter 10 times if you like, but only your first three runs will count. The event will begin today, Friday, January 10th at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, all the way till Monday, January 13th till 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Note the event does not grant QCP. So of course, it's not gonna help you towards the quarterly uh, championship points. And rewards for this, each run, seven wins is six packs and two rares. And for simply entering the event, you get three packs of Flame of Zolta. Uh, and then six wins, you get six packs, one rare, and one premium uncommon. As far as leaderboards go, not very impressive. Rank 1 gets a 3 gold chest. Rank 2 through 10 gets 1 gold chest and 2 silvers. Then we have 3 chests for top 100. And everyone else will get 2 silver chests. So of note, of course, it has to have... So like if you have a dragon in play, the drag, if the top card of your deck is a dragon, it'll put it into play. Uh, Sentinels, elves, things like that. But alright, not too bad. It seems alright. Another way to kind of change up the game format. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to be playing it. Another update, we saw some announcements on yesterday, which is January 9th. We saw we have addressed the, the following issues. Tax collector should now correctly double relic weapons with negative strength. Okay, well, I don't know how that happened, but apparently it did. Fixed a bug where Ali, champion of Kodosh, Kodosh's stats would not consistently update in combat in some scenarios. Having Sword of Judgment in your deck no longer prevents life force triggers. Oh, wow. That's a bit of a bummer if that was the case. Luckily, that never happened to me. And then effects that increase card cost should now correctly affect echoed cards. Okay, that makes sense. Didn't realize. Uh, I guess that's why they're fixes, though. Fixed an issue where promises by Firelight Achievements referenced incorrect card names. Okay. Ruins guides, ruins guides, ability should now function consistently with cloak of moments. Fixed issues with few non-English translations. All right, that one I wouldn't have seen, but yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. Just a short and sweet video to keep you up to date on what's going on with Eternal. Stay tuned, this is a new series I'm gonna start doing now. Every time a patch note comes out or balance changes or a new event, I'll give you guys the update. So you guys stay tuned simply by following this channel. Alright guys, that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Jedi. Until next time, happy gaming.